What is going on everyone? Before we get into today's video, I want to give a big shout out to A1 Comics for A1 Wednesday. Don't forget to follow them on Instagram. Their link is in the description below. They have live sales every Wednesday and Friday on the IG. Don't forget to check them out on Twitch every Thursday as well. And of course, they are on the WhatNot app. What is going on, everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics of Pop Culture. Today, we're looking at this Invaders 34. And we're going to be doing a before and after. While giving this book a press. Look at this book. It has seen better days. That is absolutely for sure. And we are going to put some pressing magic to work to get this bad boy looking clean. If you all are just joining for the first time and you're not subscribed to the channel, please, please take some time to do so. Check out all the awesome links below as well. But how about this book? I wanna give you all a nice clear look at what this book is doing. It will not sit flat. It has been man handled. Look at that. I don't know if it, had any moisture damage i'm I, I don't think so just but i could tell by the texture but it was definitely look at this look at this back here look at that probably uh shut maybe you know some kid was reading it in the back seat left it in the back seat of a car for months uh definitely got some spine ticks right there really deep spine ticks Got some chipping at the top. Obviously, a press is not going to do anything uh, for the chipping. It could flatten that out. Let's check the spine on the front. Definitely needs some love. You can see that. That's deep there. That's color breaking. That's not going to be able to come out. Uh, you got some... Roughing of the edges on the spine as well. Of course, some rounding and a bit of a chip right there. You got a color breaking crease. Looks like we got some pages creased in here. I will make sure that I unfold the creases before I press. And for anybody pressing books, you always want to check the inside of your books for any creases. Because once you press and you have a crease like that, you're going to make it worse. You're not doing your book any justice. You want to make sure you bring them out. Get them nice and flat. There you go. So I'll be going through every page in this book to make sure there are no more creases. It doesn't look like it. I'm going to uh, set it in the press here. We got steel plate, one steel plate on the bottom, clamshell press. The heat is going to uh, turn on to 175 degrees. I'm going to leave it on. For five minutes and then I'm gonna let it sit in the cold press overnight about 24 hours anywhere from you know 18 to 24 hours when I come back to it and uh, we'll do one side take it out flip it over press the other side and we'll see how this bad boy looks I will see you all in 24 hours we are back. We are back. And I have the press opened up. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the book after sitting for 24 hours, folks. Let's get on in there. Look at this book. Remember what it was looking like, of course, because you guys just saw it a few seconds ago. I saw it. 24 hours ago, but look at how flat this book sits. We're going to go ahead and pull this out of there. We're going to go ahead and pull this out of there. Look at this book. Look at this book. Look at how flat that is. We're going to bring some light to highlight. smooth now of course you know you see some frailing there around the edges you know some of that is uh, inevitable you do have some uh, color breaking 
creases there that are still keeping the book up. You got that little chip on the corner. No roughage or finger crinkles throughout the cover of the book. You guys know that's my favorite term, finger crinkles. <laughs> uh, that's when you can tell that there's, um, you, you know, crinklage in the page due to handling. So after a nice press, if it comes out good, the page is complete or the book is completely smooth. We're going to flip this guy over. We're going to examine the back. Same thing there. Look at how flat it sits. The back cover is definitely more and more uh, clean of shape than the front. Those edges are nice and clean. Decently nice and clean. Let's look at the spine. You can still see a few uh, spine ticks right there. Now, if I wanted to go all out, I take my, my tack iron here and I could probably get rid of some of those. But this isn't an in-detailed video for you all. And remember, those aren't just spine ticks. Those are actually rips. Those ticks actually rip into the pages. Look at that. You can, you can see that there. So I would say uh, it looks pretty clean considering. Uh, the most important thing, I think, when you look at the defects of this book uh, before the press is just how flat it sits. So if I had to say, if I sent that book in to CGC next to sending this book in after the press, and remember, this is only a, uh, a, a, a one side press. Uh, usually I would still uh, take it, flip it around to the back, give it another press and let it sit for 24 hours. But for the sake of the video, we are looking at it as is. Uh, this is definitely bump, bumping this book up at least a, a few grade points. At least a few grade points. So again, basic pressing can really help your books. Because like I said, we could do ball bearing action. Okay. We could do tack iron action. And then we can do humidity and Mr. Action here with the Con Air. So all those things are variables that can really take your books up a notch than just a press. Of course, I have the uh, uh, stainless steel plate underneath that really allows the heat to transfer throughout the book much better. So this book sits pretty darn flat considering. Uh, I am still going to uh, give it a, another press sitting on its on its backside but for now i hope you all got a good idea of what a basic press can do if you are interested in seeing more detailed tips and processes that i do for pressing comma books definitely go and check out the playlist tips to help helpful tips for collectors and i will be having some more pressing videos in the near future. Again, if you are subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so. And until next time.